The report was commissioned by nine federal agencies who wanted to examine this concept called resilience. And resilience is one of those ideas that have been percolating around in the federal government and at the local levels as well. And these agencies decided it was time to think about it in a broader framework. So they asked the National Academies to convene a panel to examine all aspects of resilience, starting with the definition, and then come up with actionable recommendations that the nation could implement to become more resilient. The committee has met over the course of about two years and has w gone to a number of different places to talk to local communities because for many of us, we think resilience starts at the local level. So we visited uh, New Orleans, the Mississippi coast, Iowa City and Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and Southern California. And we talked to communities who've experienced disasters, but more importantly, who are facing the challenges of resilience. The committee came up with six recommendations, and the biggest one, and for us the most important one, is building a culture of resilience for the nation. And this culture of resilience requires activities on the part of individuals, of communities, of the public sector, and of course, all levels of government. And we feel if we have and implement this culture of resilience, we will be able to make the nation more resilient uh, to disasters and reduce the costs which we know are escalating. The event today is to begin what we think is the second phase of the project, and that is to enter into a national conversation about how to make the nation more resilient. What we want to do is to bring participants from all over the country who represent various constituencies from local government officials to local uh, private uh, interests to academics, uh, to local citizens, to begin to talk about how do we actually do this? How do we actually move the nation forward? Uh, what data do we need? What concepts do we need? What are the challenges that we're going to face? And how are we all going to do this together? We didn't feel that this was something a National Academies committee could do but rather this was a national conversation and we're very excited that the National Academies is spearheading this national conversation.